A year ago, we sent teachers home and we had a one-to-one -one initiative. No way did we think we were gonna be out for a year. And that's what two weeks turned into. To go from a one-to-one -to, -one to a, a virtual all day, every day for a year with no preparation, no staff development, no time to prepare was an amazing feat. And that's, that's where my confidence comes from, that we're gonna be successful in this second phase in the hybrid. I've been here for 45 years. I know this town pretty well, and I've seen a lot. And I've seen a lot of dark times, and I've seen a lot of really happy times. Uh, and we get to it, we rise to the occasion. That's who we are. Leadership is, is a lonely place to be. And during a global pandemic, people are scared. People are worried. People do not know what the future is going to bring. People get depressed. Going through COVID, there were a lot of things that a school district didn't have the ability to control. You know, a state of emergency. The executive orders that come along with that. So the parent, parents are home and they're, they're raising their kids and they're going to work. And as long as their kids are going to school and they're getting a good education and they come home happy and they can share at least some of their day with their parents, they're gonna be happy and that's normal and that, that's fine. Now, they're not going to school. We don't know when they're going to go back to school, but it's, it, it's not that easy. It's domino, as soon as one drops, another drops and then they all start to drop. So you don't want that first domino to drop. I'm, I'm more cautious. I think we're ready to go. It's been a tough year uh, since March. Uh, to date, it's been uh, it's been a roller coaster for sure, no doubt about that. Ups and downs. There was no playbook for this. Teachers have experienced something they've never ever experienced, and they can't go to anybody else to talk to them about it because nobody's experienced it. There hasn't been a time in our history that we are aware of that in our lifetime where you didn't work for a year. And when you did work, you did it in a completely different way. And for teachers, it was a completely different way. If I would ask parents and the general public to understand that now twice we've asked teachers to shift gears, to do what they do completely in a different modality. And to be able to pull that off is pretty fantastic. Teaching isn't a perfect science. It's an art, you know, and you bring your creativity to the table, you bring your skill set to the table, you bring your intelligence to the table. We're dealing with humans and we're dealing with children. Throw on a global pandemic on top of that and social unrest during a, a summer last year that was devastating. Having somebody who sits in this office who knows people that are out in the field, because it's what? It's about the field. My job's clear. I need to get you folks everything you need to do your job. But it's you guys in the field, and it's having a central office that knows the people in the field. We're gung-ho with April 19th, and we are definitely coming back, but we're watching all those indicators every day. There's no doubt about it. It's too big of a thing not to look at. I guess as we move forward into April 19th, my confidence is at 100%. And my confidence is at 100% because of you. Because all that you've done and all that I've seen. And now we're going into April 19th and we're going to be successful. We've taken all the precautions. We are ready. We are set. The buildings are ready for you. The children need you. You need to be back. You're excellent at what you do. You're absolutely excellent. Is it going to be perfect? No. It is not going to be perfect but you're gonna lean on one another. I'm excited about us coming back. We've taken all the precautions. We are ready to come back. The Board of Education supports you. The administration supports you. Your building principals support you. Your supervisors support you. The children need you. The secretaries and custodians want to see you. You're excellent at what you do 
And we're gonna get through this because of each other. Because of each other, we will be successful. We will support each other and we will get through this together. We're all set. We're bringing the Bengals back.